I know I said I wasn't going to go to the Dollar Tree, but last night we had to, my husband was going to stop by Lowe's and get our extra curtain rod that we needed to hang our curtains, which that's what we done. And we needed to get um, Catman his cat food. And I needed a few other things too. I really didn't need them. I just bought them. Um, no crafting items because I really don't craft a lot for Valentine's Day and they didn't have that much out for Easter. And I'm not really ready to buy Easter stuff. But we did get him his Imes and it's the chicken recipe that he likes. He only likes these and these are the two portion ones. So we picked those up for him. And I bought some hand, this is the essential stuff hand sanitizer they had quite a bit so I always try to grab one when I'm there and this is moisturizing formula with um, vitamin E it doesn't say how much alcohol is in it 70 75 no 70% 70% alcohol this is the um, every very fresh or every fresh sanitizer I keep those in the closet and I bought some more of these because I'm running out and um, those are 24 pack and um, the rest of this is just mainly cat food in here and masks we were running low on masks speaking of masks I was really upset because and I did and I left I left before we checked out my husband finished the lady in front of him had her mask pulled down below her nose and the cashier even though he's behind a screen he didn't even have a mask on and I'm gonna call that Dollar Tree or the health department today and talk to him because it is required so um, yeah I was I my husband just handed me the keys and I walked out and waited in the car while they checked out um, <laughs> I was so livid. I would have said something to him. And my husband knows I would have said something. So he he didn't want me to do that. So anyhow, we got, we got another bag. Maybe not. He picked them up. Got three of these. There's two throwaway. There are two, uh, two disposable face masks. And they got the wire across the top. They all do, mostly. And um, there's two in each bag. So there's six of those. And then we got the, um, he got these for work. The ones you can reuse. Wash them and reuse them. They're black. There's only one in them. He said they had a ton of these. I don't know if they had different patterns or not. I would have kind of liked, I should have looked at them. But these are nice. I like them. And like I said, you can rewash them. And then the rest of this is just cat food for cat man. And then on to my not so essential stuff that was in there. I'll tell you what, it was raining. And I said, great, let's go. There was uh, probably two other people in there. I didn't even see them. They were in and out. I think they were in a hurry. And um, there was one other lady, the one with a mask all. I don't remember seeing it. I don't. It was pretty empty because it was getting dark out and it was really raining pretty hard. So that's a good time to go because they don't have anybody in there. Otherwise, they're usually pretty packed. Um, I got me two mirrors. Now, I use these with other pictures. And you can paint these if you wanted to. This is gold. Um, you can paint them any color you want to. Um, I think I'm going to leave them like this. I'm not for sure. But I got them to go with this. And they're going to go in my bedroom. Um, I thought it was very pretty. It's a turquoise and um, kind of like a Aztec. Is that Aztec print? And it says grateful and blessed. And I really like it. It's got the tan color and the turquoise and the kind of off. I don't know if it's off. It's tan tanner <laughs> light brown anyhow I thought that, it, that these would go good with them on the one on a wall and um, 
So I got that one, and I got this one that kind of matches it. And it says, you feel like home to me. So, I don't know if you can see that. It's really pretty. I like that saying. And, uh, because we just have a, a picture in it that says, let's stay home. And, um, we like staying home. So, anyhow, we thought, I thought those were really pretty. For a dollar, you can't beat that. And they're canvas. They're very canvasy. And... I know I said I wouldn't buy Valentine's stuff, which I found some Valentine's things that uh, pictures I had from last year. But I found this, and I thought this was oh, it's glaring. Oh, it's shiny. I'm trying to get the glare off of it, but it's so pretty. Let me get close enough. You might be able to see it. I don't know. It says beautiful. Beautiful. And it's black, and it has different colors here. I don't, I don't, I'll see if I can get it. <laughs> Not gonna work. Not there. Maybe you can see it that way. It's a wall decoration. Don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I'll find a place because it's so neat. I really like it. And um, I love these things. If you can find the right one. And I've never seen this one before. I saw a lot of Valentine's things that um, I had never seen before that a lot of people would have liked and I should have took pictures, but I didn't want to stay too long in there um, in case they did start getting busy. Um, I got for my little shelves that I have up on the wall, these. These were in the Valentine's area. Um, I think they had pink or purple or something like that and I don't really I'm not really into pink but this is like a it's not what clear it's like a smoky color and it's got this silver across the top and it's really pretty and I thought I could put it on those shelves they're glass and what I bought to put in them just for the season is these they're these little they're heavy I think they're for balloons and they have the heart there. And uh, I was trying to find some succulents, but they didn't have anything like that. But I'm gonna try to stick these in here straight. I might have to do it with a hot glue or something. And put those in, uh, put them in the, put them up on the shelves. Just for February. They don't sit very well. <laughs> to fiddle around with them. I'm going to have to. This one is definitely prop it up. But I thought that'd be cute on the shelves up there above my TV. So I bought those four things. These really are four things. They don't go together. Um, and I did buy some of these even though I saw Shy town Girl talking about them. And I know from experience that when you buy these little lights oh my nails are bad um they don't really they aren't pastel looking they're bright and they look white they're not too pastel-y but these are easter and i thought i'll grab oh, i'll just grab them because i line our bedroom window with some decorations we have a ledge on our bedroom window i'm not going to do it now but um i just grabbed a box of them and uh, even though I know they're white, or white LEDs, they're not pastel. They don't look that pastel. I've had Christmas ones like this, and no, they don't. They don't turn out to be the color they're supposed to be. And I don't know why my husband bought this. I already had one. Um, this is a clip-on book light, so he's going to use that for something. Don't know what. <clears throat> And, oh, I got some other lights, too. These are the eggs. So, I always love these little lights. Well, I don't care if they are white. Now, these you can't take off, but the other ones that come out in the spring, and they did have spring stuff. It was ridiculous. They had Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, spring and summer stuff. That is totally ridiculous. So, obviously, they're not going to have a whole lot of room, and I'm not ready to buy stuff for outside or anything like that that's crazy 
I did find some candles. They do smell good in, in the store. This is Cinnamon Sparkle, and it smells really good. And these jars are nice. Mm, smells good. These were with the Valentine's things. They do have little hearts on them, if you can see. I don't know if you can see them or not because of the dim glare. But um, I need to get my lights set up. And these, this is uh, got a pink lid. I don't keep the lids or anything. I peel these stickers off of them too. And this is pink sugar macaroons. So, mm, they smell pretty good. I really don't care because they don't usually give off a throw. Probably the ones that I don't like will give off a throw. This is a creamy coconut vanilla. That's probably my favorite. It smells very good. Um, hopefully they'll burn longer. I love candles and I keep, well, I, I try to buy it. I was kind of getting low. Try to buy them and um, so I could burn them all the time. But uh, that's it. That's all I bought. And um, I didn't see any mesh, and I didn't see any Valentine's wreath frames, so I don't think I'm going to be making one. I do, like I said, I found some Valentine signs that everybody's buying that they think is new this year, and they're, it's not. It really isn't. I'm going to wait later on into the year and um, look at some of the uh, Easter things. I like that more. Um, but that's in April. Okay, that's way off. They'll probably get some pretty new things for Easter. And um, that's my Dollar Tree haul. And uh, I won't be going this weekend probably. We're supposed to have not much snow, but a little bit of snow. And um, we're going to have our groceries delivered tomorrow. And we're in for the weekend, so we went out, as far as I know, I would kind of like to go to Dollar General and see if they have any sales, of, um, just see what's, go out of town, we actually go out of town to do that, but, um, and they're not very crowded ever because it's a very small town. Um, we don't buy food or anything at either store too much. I shouldn't do a food thing. I, I do want to, I do, will do a review on a game that I bought for Christmas. It's called Blockbuster, and it actually looks like a, it's in a, I don't know if I told you this before, I might not have showed you, but anyhow, it was fun. My husband and I played it, and it was a lot of fun. It's a trivia game, and I love trivia games, so got a lot coming up this week, and um, just keep our country in our, your prayers, because it seems like these crazy people out here rioting and being nuts and it I've never seen it like this before so and then like I said I gotta go to the my oncologist on Monday that's always nerve-wracking and um, tonight my husband and I are going to he's going to stop and pick up some Chinese food we like that and I'll probably try to get these pictures hung I don't know Anyhow, you all have a great, great weekend, and um, stay safe, wear your masks, and cross your fingers that we get to get our shots real soon and our vaccines so we can all be getting out and feeling a little bit better about going out, So, and that everything works out all right with those. We'll pray for that. Um, yes, I'm going to get one. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, so um, yeah. I'm I'm going to be there to get one. And um, have a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.